we want to look at the secret to success in ministry. The secret to success in ministry. Follow the blueprint. Matthew chapter 24 verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. This. We have only one message to preach. It is called this gospel of the kingdom. It must be preached where and where in all the world for a witness that means with tangible proofs with clear manifestations with undeniable wonders with notable miracles this gospel that jesus christ preached with proofs everywhere must be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then shall the end come in Matthew 10, 1, Jesus called his disciples together to him and he gave them power against all unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal every kind of sickness and every kind of disease. In Luke chapter 9, verses 1 and 2, he told them, as he called them, I give you power. And authority over all devils to cast them out and to cure diseases and he sent them for to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick so they went and they preached the gospel the gospel of the kingdom the coming of the kingdom the arrival of the king to his domain the coming of the king of kings into his domain they preached that gospel everywhere and they healed everywhere they preached that gospel. Christ said this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for the witness unto all nations. In Matthew 28 and from verse 18, Jesus came and spoke to them saying, you know, power in heaven and earth is given unto me. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you even unto the end of the world. Teaching them to observe. So we are to preach the gospel he sent them to preach. With proofs in Matthew 8 verse 7, he says, you go preach, saying the kingdom of heaven has come. Now to prove it, verse 8, heal the sick. He told them, cleanse the lepers. He told them, raise the dead. He told them, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely give. These are the things we are to observe. All things that he commanded them. The secret to success in ministry is follow the blueprint. So many pastors are teaching on all kinds of things that Christ never sent us to teach or to preach. Jesus is our perfect example. What he did, we are to do. The weapons he used, we are to use. The message he preached, we are to preach. The kingdom, the power, and the glory belongs to the Father, but Christ came as the Father's ambassador to guide us in the way the Father wants us to operate. Remember Acts 10 that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all them who were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. All that Jesus Christ did, we are sent to do. The same works he did, we are to do. And we cannot do his works except we use what he used. Today, in so many quarters, Almost nothing is happening. You know why? We are no longer preaching the gospel. Many people who are preachers today are not preaching the gospel. But this gospel, only one, this gospel of the kingdom is to be preached in all the world for the witness unto one nations. If we preach the message that Jesus Christ preached, we're going to see the same 
miracles Christ saw. If we preach the message the apostles preached, we are going to see the same miracles they saw. They all went and preached everywhere. And everywhere they went, the Lord was walking with them, confirming what they said as his message with signs following them. If we preach the same message, the same Lord, who is the same yesterday and today and forever, will confirm it. So what's our duty in a nutshell? Make disciples. Make all like Christ. In Luke 6.40, it is sufficient for a disciple to be like his master. We are to make men not like us, not like any bishop or any overseer or any president or any man of God. It's an error for you to make any child of God like any man of God. Make them like God the Father. Don't make any man like any man of God. Make every man like God the Father. Make every child of God like the Father. That's what we are here to do. Let all reflect the father let all manifest the father that's what we are here to do jesus christ came and said if you have seen me you have seen the father so we are here to show the world who the father is so make disciples make ambassadors like jesus christ baptize them in water and in the spirit they must carry all the power of the holy spirit as they are baptized into the Ghost. teach them to do all i have commanded you to do so do all I did and said, Christ told me. Do all I did and, and do all I said to do. We have to teach them to observe all he has commanded us. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils. We have to do that. Show them all they are to do by doing all I have commanded you to do. Now notice his command. Go back and read Matthew 10, 1, 7 and 8, Mark 6, 7, 13, Luke 9, 1 to 6. Luke chapter number 10, 1 to 19. Preach the gospel of the kingdom everywhere. Cast out devils everywhere. Stop the works of the devil everywhere. Tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the part of the enemy. Tread over every part of the enemy. That is destroy the works of the devil. Heal the sick. Cure every sickness and disease. Cleanse the lepers. Raise the dead. Give freedom as you have received freely. Do all. Jesus Christ did, and even better works than he did. Heal every man of sickness, heal every man of disease. Solve every problem, meet every need. That's why we are here. I pray for you that you will settle down and follow the blueprint. We are to follow the steps of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are to do what he did. With what he used to do them, we are to use the same. I pray for you today that God will help you to follow the heavenly blueprint of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And as you do, may his blessings evermore be upon you, be with you, and then be given to others through you. In Jesus' precious name. God bless us. See you again in this video. Peace.